So, um, let's go. Uh, good afternoon. Before starting, I would like to precise that I have updated my presentation and also the, its title in order to present in five minutes, maybe maybe six, I don't know, <laughs> uh, a more focused case study, although still related with the three research questions of the um, round table. No? So, in this flash talk, I will introduce and submit to your critics a research design aimed at assessing the chronology of palimpsestic world networks. In fact, the assessment of road networks chronology is still a great challenge for us archaeologists, principally for two reasons. There are many of them, but uh, the two that I would like to highlight is uh, firstly, uh, because depending on their architecture, it is often difficult to extract samples no, from dating, from, uh, for dating from roads and paths. And second, because this kind of built environment possesses a great affordance which means that its dynamics of use does not always fit to the classical archaeological periodization framework, no? as seen in the which one is this uh, little scheme. No? Finally, it should also be highlighted here that roads and paths are architecture of relational character, and as such should not be apprehended as an isolated object of study. For these reasons, we are implementing a research design based on topological analysis and simulation. Here, I will briefly present the ongoing network analysis based on the first case study of a Marie Curie action called uh, RoadNet Hands. This case study is based on a geospatial archaeological record of a 1,000 square kilometer basin located in the island regions of northern Chile. In this region, hyperaridity and rural exodus allowed for an exceptional conservation of the archaeological remains. So, a high resolution regional archaeological record has been made up by means of both remote sensing and field survey, and complemented by a characterization of landforms, current land cover, and water availability. In total, the GeoData database records 1,200 archaeological sites with superficial architecture, including 300 settlements, as well as 2,000 hectares of agricultural infrastructures and a 600 kilometer uh, accumulated road network. No? Our first topological analysis experiments are based on the principal watershed of this region, the one uh, here, where highlighted by part of the road networks, which also has been the most populated for this last 500 years. Our proposal is very simple. It consists in assessing the probability of use of road segment based on its topological proximity to settlements of known chronology. After a proof of concept, we are evaluating the parameters of the model, such as the scale and the score of the chronological allocation based on topological connectivity. As the model is very simple, it can, e it can easily take into account different historical periods of interest, represented here in three colors in order to model the evolution of road network morphology through time. The first results are coherent with our, our assumption based on historical context. For example, I am showing you the evolution of the road networks in the Belen Valley since the pre-Inca, Inca, and colonial time. You see, this is the most likely morphology of, of the, road the road network for each period. Um, up to the introduction of motor vehicles during the second half of the 20th century. Interestingly, the model not only allowed to map the most likely morphology of the road network for each of these periods, but also to localize and even quantify the probability of changes and resiliences between these periods. Here it's the difference between uh, two periods, no? This is period Pit and period Inca, it's just a simple uh, resting. Due to the partial and incomplete nature of the archaeological record, we also manage a layer of uncertainty. In addition to topological analysis, locational analysis allow for the determination of the locational rationales of road networks for each cultural period. No? This is a set of raster derived uh, analysis proximity to settlements, to uh, agricultural areas, altitude, etc. To conclude, I would like to highlight the potential of the proposed research design. 
First, because it is overall based on four distinct lines of evidence, the architecture, the location, the territorial situation, and first chronology, which combination allow to address a diversity of research questions about the historical process and relative ter territorial dynamics in our study region. But also, and finally, because it is based on an empirical record, while archaeological insights into road networks' historical problematics are more commonly addressed addressed through the scope of reconstructivist approaches. Finally, I would like to say that this empirical record could be of interest beyond archaeology, because it has the potential to assess fundamental research questions about mobility behaviors and territorial dynamics in mountainous environments in changing bioclimatic, sociopolitical, and technological settings. And that's it. I am just starting this new project, in fact, called Redes Andinas on the Air Networks, funded by, by uh, EU and French Ministry of the Foreign Affairs, and I'm looking for collaborators, so please welcome if you feel interested.